After the flood, when Noah and his sons have to rebuild the world, they end up becoming ridiculously powerful. These guys would still live until 500 years old, and everybody spoke the same language, so the whole world was unified. See, eventually, somebody stumbles on this lost empire with these carvings inside of rocks. See, this place was once owned by fallen angels, and on these rocks contained their forbidden teachings. But here's what just blows my mind. Because right around that same time, this infamous king named Nimrod would quickly become the ruler over all of Noah's descendants. See, he was actually one of the first ones to start worshipping these old gods again. And soon after, he would want to build this brand new city. This city was going to be a staple of technological achievements towering into the heavens. You see, this would have been the mighty tower of Babel. But here is the problem. See, King Nimrod was hoping that through that tower, he would one day replace God. And as dumb as that sounds, the thing is, with the whole world unified, no evil thing would be impossible to us. So when God realizes this, he comes down and confuses the language of the people. See, what was once a staple of unification would now end up scattering us across the world.